Buffalo State go down at the hands of a much more polished NIU Huskies team, 38-14, to but that is fine as I feel like there's plenty of momentum in this game going forward. They are inching closer and closer, 43 to go. Armstrong fires wide open. DJ Lee breaks away from everyone and gone like a girl in a country song. He takes it all the way. They are one and four, and I'll tell you, that looks a lot better than 0 and five. All Ohio can do at this point is yeet to win. Rourke puts it up and it is intercepted. Mark Yates takes it away and Buffalo State wins their second game in a row. They have a bunch set to the right side. Armstrong, third and 11, floats one up. It's deflected and caught off the deflection, DJ Lee. I don't believe it intended deep for BJ Lynch on third down, and Lee was in the right place at the right time. Punts it back to DJ Lee. He catches it cleanly, takes his path to the left side. Cushion, evades one defender, two more. Lee with one to beat. He turns the corner and he is gone like a girl in a country song. He finally did it. What an effort from Leon Jacobs. What an effort from the Buffalo State defense. And they win the biggest game of the series to this point. Second and one, two minutes to go. Jacobs carries hat trick, he gets it. And Buffalo State absolutely dismantles and embarrasses Akron. And you have to think, full eligibility without your starting quarterback. I'd say that's a pretty impressive feat for a program with a pretty new head coach. Only put up three points in that first half due to miserable quarterback play. Jackson starts off, draw and Strickland rips it away. Another forced fumble for Sebastian Strickland. They've made a conference championship bid. And I cannot believe that we are finally here. What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to another episode, a very special episode of the Buffalo State College Bengals Dynasty on NCAA Football 14. Reaching a conference championship is not something that I expected this team to do so early, and especially not with a backup quarterback. While the team has defied the odds all season long, they need to do so today as through two meetings with NIU, they have not won. And earlier in the season, NIU set us to 0-4 with their backup quarterback. Their starter, Marcus Childers, is back today and he's hungry for vengeance. Leon Jacobs and the Buffalo State Bengals offense need to figure out how to attack this swarming Northern Illinois defense and stop Marcus Jones on the other side of the ball. Welcome to Ford Field for an exciting conference clash between Northern Illinois and Buffalo State and you better believe that it all comes down to this. High stakes in this game. Down at the field, Kevin Kinsley has it teed up, awaits the whistle, steps into it, right leg, boom, we are underway. Coco Ciolas back to return the kick from about two yards deep. He takes it out to the 15, the 20, and down near the 25 yard line where Marcus Childers and the NIU Huskies offense will take over for the first time today. They line up in the pistol, Childers gives Jones, Jones breaks a tackle for a second, and Littlefield eventually gets him from behind. A loss of one and a great start. The Huskies face with an early third down. Childers with Jones to his left. Snaps, stands in the pocket all day. Fires over the middle. Robinson goes up for it with one hand on the post route. 32 yards and moves the chains, keeping the Huskies drive alive. Play action, Childers to Jones. Rolls right, running all the way. Stiff arms Jay Woods, punches him in the face and gains 15 inside the red zone. This is the threat that Childers brings to the table that we did not see from Anthony Thompson. The Bengals need to keep his dual threat ability in mind. Childers, draw, Jones and Littlefield swarms him. Before the game, he said that he did not want to eat because he wanted to have Marcus Jones as a late lunch. Back to the ground, pitch right, Jones and Littlefield is there again and on cue, he says, let's eat. Third and 14 out of the pistol. Childers drops back, plenty of time. Steps up in the pocket, looks to run and goes down. Three-year starter Wendell Wallace gets there. Fourth down and 14, they'll settle for three. It's about a 40-yard field goal, snap spot, kick up and it drifts wide left like Blair Walsh. A missed opportunity for the Huskies to get on the board. Armstrong and Co. take over like they've done all season. Stretch to Jacobs. He makes a wiggle to get past the defender and somehow picks up 12 on what should have been a two-yard loss. 
Third down and 12 though, however. Armstrong in trouble. Bunch to the right, hit as he throws and can't get it anywhere. Fourth and 12, and this game is gonna stay at 0-0 for a little longer. Third down and nine for the Huskies. Childers drops back, Jones in the blocks, flows one outside to Brinkman, the tight end. He makes the catch for 12 yards. This guy's a matchup nightmare. We've had issues with him. Third down and eight, two plays later. Childers stands in the pocket, fires downfield. Tucker makes the catch and reservations for six. 41 yards. Teams have been picking on Fred Houston all season long because he's 5'7", but this time he just gets burnt. Tucker simply shoves him aside and scores with 21 seconds remaining in the first. Spread flex, give Jacobs right up the middle, gains about nine yards, and they'll let this clock tick down. At the end of one quarter, Northern Illinois out in front by 7-0, but of course still a lot of football to play. Back to action from Ford Field. Armstrong sends Johnson in motion from the pistol to the left side. They give Strong Jacobs and he gets flattened. Absolutely clotheslined and he is unable to find running lanes so far. Second and 12, Armstrong goes play action. Pressure comes off the edge. The ball comes free, but I think Buffalo State maintains possession. Indeed they do. But a tough spot for Buffalo State to be in as NIU has always kind of dominated them off the edge. Third down and 20, Jacobs the back to the left side, trips to the right, fires and nearly intercepted. He missed BJ Simmons and had him wide open. Northern Illinois gets the ball back with a chance to go up two possessions. They start near the 40 yard line, sweep left, Jones and he goes down again. Fred Houston and Matthew Littlefield combine. That's Matthew Littlefield's third TFL. Childers against the blitz, fires, and Jones makes the catch on third down. Jay Woods unable to get there, and he has seven. Fresh set of downs, they work out of the pistol. Two tight ends to the right side. Childers, option to the left, and Terrence Jackson unfooled. Very disciplined for a freshman. He's had a quietly very impressive season for the Bengals. Big third down for NIU as they have a chance to go up two possessions and are not in field goal range. They go draw to Harbison and an interesting play call that did not fool Sebastian Strickland and they come up empty again. Buffalo State is only down seven nothing. Armstrong goes empty, dumped it off to Brown with 140 left and he's able to fight his way for a gain of about eight off the drag route. They hurry it up, second and two, 130 to go. Armstrong, four-man rush, fires outside and misses Hunter Haskins. His accuracy on the boundaries has been a huge deficiency for Buffalo State as they go Jacobs' his way. He has a big hole up the middle and plows forward for a first down, a gain of 17 for the freshman phenom. Jacobs looking for 20 touchdowns in this game, currently has 19. Two by two look, Armstrong play action, ball comes free, Wynn scoops it up, breaks two tackles, keeps chugging along. Does he have the speed to get there? Haskins chases him down, but he rumbles into the end zone, breaking five tackles on the play. Buffalo State got too fancy. They tried to go play action, but that does not work against this disciplined NIU pass rush. Went from Buffalo State being able to potentially tie the game to being down two possessions. Lee on the return from the left hash, cuts to the left side, looks to make up for it, to the 40, the 45, and across the 50 before going out of bounds. Buffalo State with a great shot to score with 101 left. First down and 10, tight end right side is Simmons, back to the left is Jacobs, quick strike to Simmons, right up the middle for 20. Every time they need a big play, he comes through. 55 to go, Armstrong on first down, pressure comes, has to throw it away, and a late flag comes out, are you kidding me? They get Armstrong for intentional grounding, that's a fishy call. Third and 23, clock continues to run, 47. Armstrong rolls to his right side. From the 40, he takes off to run. Armstrong inside the 30, and a smart move to get Kevin Kinsley in range, knowing he had nothing. This is about a 45-yard attempt. Kinsley's kick up and straight down the middle. Buffalo State finally on the board with 36 seconds left in the half, and that is where we would end off 14 to three. We are gonna turn it over to FG for the halftime show, FG. Now let's take a look at some other conference championship games around the country. These games are going to have major playoff impact. Alabama dismantles Georgia to win the SEC and secure college football playoff spot. Unranked UCF upsets SMU 49-35 in the American Conference Championship game. 
Number 16, San Diego State wins the Mountain West over number 17, Boise State, 35-14. We'll get a better look at the college football playoff once the remainder of these conference championship games are played. The winner of the Big Ten and Pac-12 games are guaranteed a spot. Ohio State and Iowa are number one and two, but only one is likely to get into the playoff. Number five, UCLA takes on number six, Washington, which is a huge game in this picture. Guys, once again, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe for the love of franchise content. It's all we do here. Back down to Legion on the field. We are back from Ford Field. DJ Lee back to return the kick. He moves to the left side of the field, awaiting the return. Takes it. Clean catch to the 10. 15-20. Out to the left side yet again to the 40. 45 step back. And all the way down to the 50. The step back move got him about 10 extra yards. Out come Armstrong in the offense. Not a great first half productively. Let's see if they can pick it up. Armstrong quick strike just like that. DJ Lee on third and 11 for 17. Wide receiver number one. They go two by three empty yet again. Armstrong drops back on first down and 10. Rolls right side, stops. Fires downfield and Lee can't hang on this time. Right when I talk him up, he drops it. Third down and 10. Armstrong sets up screen to the right side. Jacobs makes the catch. Plenty of room. Jukes and down to about the 22 and they don't give him the first down. They're set to go for it though. Goal line formation. Jumbo and Armstrong keeps it. Six foot, six, 235, why not? And they keep the drive alive. First and 10, Jacobs carry from the gun and he gets slammed. NIU is his initial breakout game and they've definitely adjusted because he hasn't found any room today. Third and 10, bunch to the right side. Armstrong snaps, quick throw outside. Lynch first down and goal inside the 10 yard line for 13. They spread it out, spread flex, second down and goal. Armstrong gives Jacobs and he's finally into the end zone for a touchdown, his 19th of the season. Looking for one more for 20. I was mistaken earlier. 3.15 left in the third quarter, NIU up by just four. Childers gives to Jones and he doesn't find much room either. Run defense on both sides have been stout today. Nine carries for 14 yards. Second down and nine, they go two by two in the gun. Jones stays in the block, Childers fires, Tears makes the catch for a first down, takes Matthew Littlefield with him. NIU continuing to move the chains, out of the pistol, gives straight up the middle to Jones, Hall fills in the gap before he can gain more than six. They pinch their line inside, Childers gives to Jones, he's hit, the ball comes free, who has it? Buffalo State takes over! Ben Hall from his strong safety spot knew they were gonna run up the middle and he lays the boom, helmet to the football, and Buffalo State is yet to regret the decision to start him. First down and 10, they take back over inside the 50. Give Jacobs, tries to get the corner, but drop for a loss of three. He had a lot of room. A little backed up out of the pistol with Jacobs in the backfield. Armstrong gives it to him, and he's able to fall forward, squeeze between the gap, and gain about 10 yards. Out of the jumbo on third down and three. Back Jacobs is way and the outside doesn't work, so why not go inside? Hey diddle diddle, Jacobs up the middle for 11. Third down and 13. Armstrong takes the snap, quick throws, pressure comes and Simmons breaks a tackle, stays on his feet and down at the five yard line. I said it earlier, BJ Simmons is probably the most clutch player on this team and I don't think it's even close. Buffalo State in position to get their first lead of the game. Time ticks down in the third quarter. Give O'Connell puts his head down and can't quite get there. And that run actually takes us to the end of the third quarter of play. We'll be right back. Live from the MAC Championship, inches away from their first lead of the game. They give it off to Jacobs and he's in for his second touchdown of the game. And it makes 20 on the season in 12 games. He's the reason that Buffalo State is even here to begin with. First down and 10, they're up three. Childers gives off to Jones and Jackson able to take him down. That's his second TFL of the game. He also had a fumble recovery. Jones has not found any room as Jacobs has started to get going. Third down and 12, Childers sets up screen left side to Jones and Littlefield delivers the boom. A clinic today from the Buffalo State defense. You shall not pass on the left side. We cannot forget the importance of Matthew Littlefield on this team. 
Fourth down and 15, 410 left. They're gonna punt it away and Buffalo State has a chance to go up two possessions. DJ Lee takes it, cuts to the left side, didn't like what he sees. It pays off for him to the 40, leaves to the 50, stays in bounds to the 40 and down at the 37 yard line. He will be missed sorely as he's a redshirt senior. Second and four, give up the middle to Jacobs and he has enough for the first down. Late whistle comes in. Clock under three minutes to go in this game as they go twin tight ends to the left side. Jacobs in the backfield, takes the carry, gets a block, bounces to the outside, nothing but green. Goodbye, Lee on the Phenom. Buffalo State takes a 10 point lead with 2.44 to go. And if there was anybody who was gonna do it, it was Leon Jacobs who has 21 touchdowns on the season and another hat trick. Wow, oh wow. 24 unanswered points for Buffalo State. NIU suddenly with a sense of urgency dumps it off to Brinkman. He has enough for a first down on second and three, just barely. Clock continues to tick down. Childers takes snap, doesn't like what he sees and runs into the waiting arms of Dennis Vinson. The true freshman, one of the best freshmen in all of college football. Childers floats outside second and 14 to Payne and he's able to get inside the 40. Third down and four upcoming. Two by two look spread flex. Childers sets up the screen to the right side. Jones makes the catch, breaks a tackle from Hawkins. Now Flanagan, he's still on his feet and down to the 25 yard line. Should have been a loss of three, but thankfully it was only his best play of the game. Childers, second and three, here comes Tony Hawkins. A man on a mission brings him down and he continues a phenomenal freshman season. Third and nine out of the pistol. Childers snaps again, pressure comes. Hawkins, one more time. Why not fourth down and 16? And guess what? They would miss their field goal and Buffalo State becomes MAC Conference champions for the first time ever. What a phenomenal contest between two excellent teams. Buffalo State able to put on 24 unanswered points. They did not allow Northern Illinois to score at all in the second half of play. And they did all of this with a backup quarterback. What a season, but be sure to stick around as we're gonna go over a few things, including who we are playing next week in bowl season. Buffalo State has won eight games in a row, and to whoever they play, they better be on the lookout for a team that has had unlimited momentum and just built some more up today. Before we get to who we're playing, let's take a look at awards as Ben Hicks, the quarterback from SMU, has won the Heisman Trophy with 52 touchdowns. Even though Jonathan Taylor from Wisconsin was in it forever, looking first team All-Americans, Matthew Littlefield gets his name up with the big boys, but on the freshman All-American list, it's Leon Jacobs, along with the player who sealed the win in Tony Hawkins with his two sacks at the very end of the game. Also on the list is freshman safety Jay Woods who made quite a few plays throughout the season. Leon Jacobs makes the All-Mac first team along with Sebastian Strickland, Wendell Wallace, and Dennis Vinson. Almost our entire defensive line and of course Matthew Littlefield gets his name up there. Despite being snubbed for returner of the year, DJ Lee is All-Mac as well. We will look at college football playoff in the recap, but for now be sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe for the love of franchise and dynasty content because that is all we do here. And coming up next in the Buffalo State Bengals dynasty... The Bengals take on Troy in the GoDaddy.com Bowl, and it should be an exciting way to end the season. Take care, everybody. I feel you